just have to live up to what you want to do. And so that's really cool because like there might be some stereotype, but I don't think anybody here feels like they need to follow it. It might get pinned on us, but I don't feel like anybody here is like, I need to fill in, fill those shoes. I think everyone here is just like, I'm going to do what I want to do. I think that we are a group that wants to get out, that wants to meet new people, that doesn't want to stay in the books. However, we're diligent enough that we know we have to be um, focused on our education as well. That's why we're here. Um, but we also are not spending our Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays uh, in the library. Um, we're getting out, we're enjoying our college experience while being responsible students as well. So I think that's, that's huge, and I think that's what sets, that's what's beginning to set us apart. There are definite stereotypes about, uh, maybe they have it easier, maybe they're not social, maybe they're just a bunch of loner, smart kids that do their own thing, but I think you find all kinds of people, and some of them may fit the stereotype, but a lot of them are just really nice people. I guess the, the average Honors College student is no different than the average Ball State student in general. Um, we love sports, we love having fun together, we love video games, no different than anyone else. There are plenty of party animals in the Honors College just like any other segment of campus. Uh, it's really not that much different. Um, I've even heard it said that uh, the Honors College is a good student's reward for doing well in high school. Uh, <laughs> And they said that because when, once you get to the Honors College, everything becomes more discussion-based and things like that. So the classes are different, yes, but we're no different than other students. Forty as a living learning community um, has just, I mean, I think it's kind of helped make my college experience the way that it is. Um, I've gotten a lot of my really close friends from even just freshman year. Um, the, the hallways are very open and, and personal, like I said, um, with the classes too. Um, just the fact that like you can walk down the hallway and be able to talk to somebody because their door is open. Growing up in an honors type environment my whole life, um, I'm kind of used to being distinguished in that way. Not necessarily better, but just kind of being segmented a little bit more. Um, so you start to develop relationships within that community a lot stronger than you would, I feel, just kind of being clumped together and saying play. Um, so that's been really cool. I think simply initiating conversation has been a lot easier. Um, having that common background of being in Dohority, being in the Honors College has been a topic of conversation. I'm Dohority. That overall experience was really great. I lived there the first year that it was open, so everything was brand new, and it still looks brand new now. Um, the thing that I liked the most about it was just the open door policy. I never met like one unfriendly person. Everyone always had their door open, um, and because they are the same students, you know that you have in class, it was really easy to work with them as far as like homeworks go, projects. Um, and everything like that. It was just a really great environment to meet a bunch of new people and still remain, you know, in contact with the friends that you have already established. Honors College has definitely impacted my beliefs and ideas. Um, a lot of the honors classes are geared toward um, forming your own opinion and then once you form that opinion, backing it up. So I find that I'm not just like forming an opinion really quickly. I can also debate these issues with other people um, on and off campus, and it's made me a more intelligent and social person. I'm one of those people that has to fully understand something before I'm going to talk about it in class, and these classes are pretty much discussion-based. Um, so I had to read a lot, and so that's kind of what changed for me, um, but now I, I enjoy reading, and so I'm, I'm hungry for, for knowledge that I can I can get in that way. I guess when you're younger and you've read something for a long time, you just kind of get set in a mindset of it, and then you hear a fresh new perspective and you go, wow, I never thought about that. That's a good question to ask. It makes you look into what you believe even more and kind of strengthen, strengthens that or makes you question it and learn more by saying, well, I don't really agree with that. The Honors College impacted my, my thoughts on the world and my beliefs by uh, just making me realize in a good way how small I really am. Um, really taking into, into account the thoughts and feelings of others um, as I approached thoughts like uh, philosophy, um, social injustice, and uh, generally just realizing that I am not um, 
this big, bad, important person, but that I'm, I'm a part of something much, much larger. It's definitely had a big time personal impact, not just on the way I interact in class environments, but just the way I interact with human beings on an everyday basis. <music> I've been taking science classes in high school. It's the same rigor roll. They just, they write it on the board, you learn it, you write it down, you take a test on it. It gets really old. So the honors college classes were crazy because it was like, it was discussion based. We're writing all these papers. It was like, it was uncomfortable because you were having to really look at yourself and figure out like, who am I? Like, what am I going to do with my life? Um, and you know, that was really great because I would not have gotten that in the science classes that I was in. And so that's actually inspired me though, to look at my science classes differently, to try to look at it with that critical attitude that I learned through the Honors College. I think the whole idea of discussion, carrying on a discussion with someone, um, being built in that classroom setting, you can take that anywhere. The classes that I've taken at Ball State have kind of helped build that, in a sense, that I'm able to carry um, what I want to say with a clear purpose and be able to talk directly to someone and not waste their time. I'm currently in a women's um, health colloquium that's about the connection of the mind, body, and spirit. And it's a fabulous class. It's very informative, um, and I kind of feel like all of the, the different um, colloques that are offered have that same element that you're really diving deep into um, understanding something more than just of what you would learn in like a basic, you know, if you're having a basic health class. Like, I've learned so much more in, in just one day than I feel like I've learned an entire health course outside of the Honors College. We're studying family dynamics, and it's just really, I don't even know a good adjective for it. It's just so fascinating to see that there are so many different ways you can make a family. And you don't have to just have mom, dad, and kids. You can have four friends, and that's a family. And just learning that everyone has a story is really important. considered going Greek. My mom had encouraged me, um, so I went out and uh, looked at the different fraternities, and uh, Fiji really attracted me for its uh, high academic standard. Um, they've had the highest GPA um, for several semesters. Before I had rushed, they'd had it for several years running, um, so I considered that um, a good environment for me uh, to build on what I already do here at Ball State. Honors College has impacted um, my involvement in the Greek community. I know that uh, a lot of the leadership skills that I developed here in the Honors College have transferred over and vice versa. Um, whenever you're running for a position, you're, you're going to realize skills overlap. Um, so you can take leadership in an Honors class where it's a little bit smaller and where you can maybe facilitate a group, and then you can transfer that over um, if you want to run for a position in a Greek organization. Honors College has this program called the Medallion Scholar um, where if you get a proposal together and you do your research and you focus on on the objectives the learning objectives that you want to achieve you can take three or however many different disciplines combine them all together and and use that as an integrated form of study that looks at how those things can come together in the field of a career and in your own personal studies. I was originally a double major in um, dance and art and I, I wanted to do more with that. I didn't want to just perform, I didn't want to just create artwork and all of a sudden certain ideas started coming into my head about creative arts therapy. It's a way to express, to go through emotions that you're dealing with, um, the doesn't have to do with speaking because some people need to do more than just talk about their problems because some people can't talk about their problems and they need to be able to go through the emotions, go through what it is that they're facing in a different way. And being able to use my art and my dance, like my skill and my joy for that and, and being able to take that into the knowledge of psycho psychology and psychological theory and, and moving that into a combined form of therapy, that's basically what I'm working towards. I suppose that the Honors College has sort of changed my um, after college experience because when I go out to um, various employers and, and different things, yes, I do have Honors College on my resume, but that's not really what's important. 
I think what's important is that I've had interactions with all sorts of people in very small settings. I feel really confident walking into job interviews and things like that because I've had opportunities to voice my thoughts already. Um, and I think the Honors College prepared me very well for that. I just recently interviewed for a dance teaching job and they asked me all sorts of questions that I really didn't expect them to ask me, but they did. And I, I felt confident in, in answering and um, I didn't feel like I seemed too shaken by their, <laughs> by their questions. Um, so yeah, I just think that it's helped me to learn how to think on my feet and respond to, to different types of people in different situations. Like I mentioned before, the liberal arts nature of the Honors College really prepares you for a career as opposed to just a job. Having a major is really great. It teaches you the skills or the trade of what you're going to be doing, but having the uh, variety of learning that you do in the Honors College, you learn to apply yourself very broadly. Um, I don't think there's ever a job that you'll have that you are just a button pusher and all you do is this one job um, being a college graduate. You need to know a lot of things about a lot of different topics. And so by applying myself in the Honors College, I know things now about topics that I would never um, have come across in, without the Honors College. So um, I feel really confident in a, in a career setting. <laughs>